Hey folks, Matt from IreTheImage.com. Got a viewer question in, uh, this is an email from Joseph Baldwin. What would be the best lens combo for the Panasonic G7 when shooting video, but also in-studio portraits? I'm a Canon user and I understand a Metabones speed booster is a popular choice when using a Canon lens on Panasonic body. However, is there one Panasonic lens that's good for both needs? And yeah, sure there is. Um, I've got both of them here right now. I'm shooting a video right now with this with the 25 f1.7 and it's fantastic for video, very sharp, very light. Um, and well, I got mine for under $99. I'm still waiting for mine to ship. This is actually on loan from Panasonic, the one I have. Um, so that's an option. And I think even not on sale, you can get them for about $189. I'll put a link below, you can check them out. Um, great lens, fantastic lens. Now, if you're the type of person that thinks 50 is not long enough for a portrait, and I often do, I have my 42.5 millimeter f1.7 Panasonic, which is also image stabilized. So, and you can have, I think that one's around 300, maybe 350. I'll put a link below. You can check it out on Amazon. Um, that is fantastic because that is actually an equivalent 85 millimeter lens. So it's fantastic for portraits. It's an f1.7. It's very, very sharp, image stabilized, great lens, small and light too. It's actually um, smaller in diameter than the 50 is, and that must just be the way the optics are made because you'd think an 85 would be bigger, but it's not. Anyways, um, I really like that lens. I like it for both my, uh, for doing portraiture, and I also like it for doing video as well. If I had to pick one, it probably would be the 42.5, simply because I think it's a better range for portraiture. Not that you can't do portraiture with a 50 equivalent, but tends to be, uh, I kind of like the little bit longer reach, a little bit more compression. Uh, they're both F1.7, but I also like the fact that the 42.5 is image stabilized. So um, great options right there. I would go with either one of those um, would be my choices. What do you guys think? Is there something else you would recommend? I know there's also um, an F1.2, I believe it is, and an F1.4 and a couple of those options too, which are a lot more expensive but are also very good. My dear friend Peter Gregg owns one of those. It's either the, I think it's a 25, I think he's got the 25 F1.4 and maybe the 42.5 F1.2. I think I have that right. I'll have to double check that. Anyways, uh, leave your other options or suggestions below, but those will be mine, the 42.5 Panasonic F1.7 and the 25 F1.7. My top choice out of those two is the 42.5 F1.7. Thanks for your question and stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com. Thanks.